Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. So I'm a little bit frustrated at the moment. This morning, my Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette came in the mail and I was so excited I filmed it straight away. Um, and I've just finished editing it which is taken forever and a lot of the footage is just completely blank all you can hear is me talking I've never had that before so I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with the memory card so we're going to film it all again from scratch so excuse the appearance um, I'm having serious trouble with my right height here and um, there's a lot of dryness there so I can't physically put eyeshadow on my face today this we need to be more central. Yeah, so I can't physically put eyeshadow on my face today. But what I can do is I can do some swatches and um, do a first impression with you. So we did an unboxing this morning. It comes in a really good outer packaging box. Um, normally Beauty Bay's boxes are just brown. They say Beauty Bay on it. Um, but they've designed one especially for this palette, which I think is really, really cool. It's not like the PR packaging that everyone got, but this is what it looks like. Um, really, really cool artwork. Then it says Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay there. Um, Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay there. Then there's some more artwork there, and the same on that side. So I've already. I already know what the shades of the shadows look like but I don't actually mind swatching them again for the sake of this. Inside the eyeshadow um, palette the box looks like that, real real pretty. It coincides with one side of the eyeshadow palette and it says NTXB um, and then it says hello guys it's me Nikki hello. Right so you get a free pop socket. And like I said in the earlier video, I would have preferred the pink one, um, but that's personal preference. What I would have really, really preferred is the signed eyeshadow palette, but I'm not that lucky. I'm just lucky enough to get the eyeshadow palette itself, because it is sold out now. Um, I believe they're going to be doing a restock really, really soon. So if you do want to keep an eye on that, if you've not managed to get it this time around. Right, so I don't know what Beauty Bay is like when they ship to other countries because they know they ship all over the world. But when they ship to the UK, they're really, really good normally. It only normally takes them about two days. But um, it did say it's taking them um, three days to dispatch and then another further three or four days to actually get it delivered. So I was expecting it in a week. I got this palette, guys, in three days. Um, I was so over the moon. I've, I've been tracking it. Um, and I know that some of, I know that some people got kind of emails saying that the palette had been cancelled and there was ho a whole debacle with that. Um, people were complaining on Twitter, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I hope my palette comes. Um, I think it was just a technical error anyway, and everyone that ordered it um, managed is is going to get their palette basically. That's what Beauty Bay is saying. So. Um, the palette comes, we don't need that box now, the palette comes like that, real real pretty, it's got that like keyhole there and then it's got one side, she calls this side, this pink side, a good side and then the black side is a uh, bad side, not bad side but the pink side is a good side um, and then oh yeah she calls it her dark side, um, so then it says Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay here um, and then it says Press Pigment Palette Net Weight 20 times 2.3 grams 0.08 ounces um, so that's really really good it doesn't mention anything about it being cruelty free or vegan um, so I presume it's not gives all of the ingredients on the back oh actually I've missed that yeah cruelty free and vegan so that is something really really good um, you can keep it for 12 months I always keep eyeshadows longer than that um, 
and then Nikki tutorials and beauty bay there so I ripped it this morning but I do want to keep this packaging I know it's bulky um, but it will keep the palette safe and because the pressed pigments are a lot softer than normal eyeshadows and then it comes in bubble wrap so they really do take care of the products when when they send things out beauty bay beauty bay do that anyway what whatever i've ordered even like ofra highlighters which are known to be the same really really soft and delicate they've always come to me perfect i've never had anything broken from beauty bay um and then inside you get this card here all right okay it says hello guys it's me nikki hello I want you to make the most out of these gorgeous shades so I want to show you how to master their full potential. That's really good that she's done that. Some of the formulas work best when applied with a shadow brush to build them up while others work better when applied with the finger. Check out the symbols on the other side to see, to see which have fun creating. So it just looks like that. and then on the back where the darker side is is it goes through all the colors in the palette there's 20 shades in the palette and it tells you um which best way to actually apply it like this shade here redemption which is the bright orange one in the palette um it's best to use that with a brush and then the shade down here where are you roxy Catan um is the bright pink shimmer this one you'll see it in the palette in a minute um this, she's saying a brush at, and a finger so with metallics I tend to use my finger most times um, so yeah we're gonna look at the palette now I'm just gonna read you her little note on the back of the palette because it's on the back of the palette plus on the box that it comes with right so I'm just gonna read this little note that she's put on the back of her palette she's put hello guys it's me Nikki hello I am beyond excited for you to finally see this my palette in collaboration with Beauty Bay. I am so grateful for this opportunity and this time we're doing it right for everybody. This palette truly showcases my life and personality. You guys know that I'm all about bright and unique makeup looks. But this palette also shows a different darker side of me. I can't wait to see the looks you'll create. From dark and mysterious to bold and uniquely you. The palette is my safe place, my temple, and that never would, and that never would have happened without the support of my glow babies. I love you. And then I think this is the artist, the artist who done the artwork on this palette. I think that's his signature. Um, oh no, sorry, he just says glow baby xx. Um, so that's cute. Right, and this is um, what the front of the palette looks like. So it opens like a book like that. I'll show you how it opens. So it opens like that. It's got two mirrors, um, which I probably won't use them, especially if I'm filming with it. So it says, I am me on this side and you are you on this side. And I'm sure the you are you is a magnetic mirror. Oh yes, that is a magnetic mirror. I could actually use it on camera um, it would be a good mirror to use on camera I'd just use it here um, but that could be quite annoying for you guys right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the swatches yet again and I'm hoping against hope that this is gonna is gonna go up is um, I'm not gonna have any issues with it going on to Filmora I've, I've put it on to also um, Movie Maker. On Movie Maker it was fine, but when I uploaded it to YouTube it was the same thing. Like, a good five minutes was blank. It just had like a blank screen of me talking. Um, I didn't want to upload that, I wasn't happy with it, so I'm filming it again. Um, right, so we're going to do the first row first. So we're going to go in with Redemption. So it's just a really bright orange matte. And I really, really wanted to do a dedicated video with this palette today. I knew it was coming and I was really looking forward to doing that dedicated video. But my eyes are just too sore and painful. Um, it's not worth putting eyeshadow on. So I'm going to probably do it probably next week. Give my eyes a little bit of a chance to 
get back to normal because they are just so so dry and flaky um, and I'm using moisturiser on them as well so they should be back to normal soon but I'm giving them a rest from eyeshadow and even makeup I've not got any makeup today that's why I look pasty AF um, but yeah right so next we're going into blend and snap which is a pink um, you would say it's quite pastely right then we're going into the ivy shade and that's a shimmer wow look at that I'll do two swatches of that one then we are going into slasher they are very very soft wow slasher is really pigmented then I'm going into 5am which is a dark brown so redemption um, blend and snap ivy slasher and 5am so that's those shades there right let's get a wipe I think she's done a really really good job like I said I've already done swatches on this palette and I do think she's done a genuinely good job with Beauty Bay I've not tried any of Beauty Bay's own eyeshadows um, but I've seen quite a few palettes that I like the look of there's this eyeshadow palette on Beauty Bay and it only costs £10 and it's full of pastels I think you get 10 pastel eyeshadows for £10 um, so if I do like the formula of this I think I'm going to get it next month um, so now we're going in to the second row um, the first shade is Roxy Catan absolutely love this guys such a beautiful shade I need to show you that look at that look how wet it looks um, it's just absolutely beautiful then I'm going to go in with La it's a yellow like my um, um, nail polish then I'm going to go in with Mikai the the red in Mikai is a little bit more chalky than the other shades but I would completely expect that reds are harder to make and this one is a good red guys it's so so pigmented um, the next shade we're going in with is Mila that's another brown just lighter than um, 5am so she's put a, a, a good few transition shades in here which is nice and then we're going to go in with underground which is another shimmer oh this is lovely right so this is what these look like so we've got Roxy Catan, Vla, Mikai, um, Basic Troot, which means Basic Bitch, um, and we've also got Underground there. Real, real pretty, aren't they? Um, and for the price point, guys, I, I just think it's an amazing eyeshadow palette. I've got some higher end palettes that I don't. That on. I will be honest when I saw Nikki doing the swatches I wanted it just for the A packaging um, and B the shimmers because they just looked out of this world pigmented um, and the matte shades are really nice as well but I did want it just for the shimmers right so now we're going into the third row um, so we're going into plot twist which is this pastel blue shade now this one has got a lot of white in it which pastels do um, so I'm going to swatch it maybe three times can you see you can see it um, but it's not bright and vibrant as the other ones are as you would expect with a pastel eyeshadow um, then the next one is Aura so that's it oh my gosh it is so so nice you only literally need one swatch um, 
Sorry, I got mixed up before. That brown shade was called Mila. When we were swatching Basic Trude now, which is again Basic Bitch, um, and this one on me would make a really nice transition. That one, um, and then we're going in with All In. This is my favourite shimmer in here. It's a duo chrome and it's like a, a gold and a green and a pink all in one. And then we're going in with O, which is the green. Look how vibrant that is. Right, let's show you the swatches and run through the colours one last time. So we've got Plot Twist. Then we've got um, Aura. Then we've got Basic Truth, then we've got All In, and then we have Ooh there. Um, so that's all the shades there. Can you see that shade there, how beautiful it is? How it turns a different colour, and this one is stunning as well. Um, the shimmers in this palette, you can't fault them. The um, matte shades, just by swatching them, Obviously I don't know on the eye but I have been told when I've watched other people's videos that there is fallout so some people are recommending that you do your eye makeup before you do your face makeup. I always do my base makeup first, if there's fallout there I'll get rid of it. Um, but you can see it here, you can see it on the blue there, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up and you can see it, you can see it on the brown um, and you can see it on the green. Um, so yeah, there is definite fallout there. Um, and now we're just moving on to the last row of the eyeshadows. So pride, look at that guys. These are just super beautiful. Look at it. Um, then we're going in with Zoma. This one is like a peachy shade. It's really, really pretty. It, it looks brown in the pan, but it's more peachy. Really nice. Um, then we're going in with Nikki Tutorials. This one surprised me. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, then we're going in with Amsterdam. Oh, look at that. And then last but not least, we're going in with Mr. Tutorials. I like the fact that she's put this Mr. Tutorials in. She's named named it after Dylan um, so yeah um, I like that so let's go through those shades one last time so we've got Pride, Zoma, Mama Tutorials, Amsterdam and Mr Tutorials so so good um, I just think this palette is a really good palette guys for the price point I'm gonna set I need a tissue get these off for the price point they have got it completely right um and i know a lot of beauty bay palettes aren't that expensive anyway it's like they range from 10 pound to 20 pound obviously they've had to charge a little bit more for um, the collaboration with nikki and also the artwork i've never seen artwork like this on a palette it's absolutely stunning um so yeah again that's what it looks like just absolutely stunning and I'm really really glad to have it in my collection um, I don't know what else to say I think they've just done an amazing job together um, you can see by the swatches alone that they, they're just gonna look great on the eye I just wish I could have shown you a look today um, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be I'm hoping by next week when I do my weekly shot my stash the dryness on the eye here will have gone down and I can actually do maybe um, a dedicated video to it then um, but yeah this is what it looks like again it opens up like a book and that's what it looks like and then yeah I do think you know them coming up with the two mirrors was pure genius um, because a lot of people do like I mean I've got one of those magnified mirrors um, and I really really enjoy it I don't know whether I'd use this side though just because it is too big especially on camera like I said to you earlier it would be in your face like I have a problem when I'm doing 
looks anyway the mirror is always in your face um, so I don't think I would use it for that um, but I do think it's a genius idea for people that don't have a YouTube channel and want to use it off camera um, I think that's really really great I mean at the moment on first impressions alone I absolutely love it I'm in love with this palette um, I can't wait to use it to show you the looks that I create I probably do one look with it like dedicated I'll do a dedicated look to it with it sorry um, and then I'll probably do a few looks off camera whether that's three looks or five looks but I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing that just because there, are, there has been those problems with my eyes and um, I think I want to calm down the three days or five days with with a specific palette until just for a few weeks uh, so there is a little bit of a side note I did like before all this dryness happened with my eye I did start to use the Primark peach peachy palette and I have noticed today that I thought I'd scheduled it back originally I scheduled the peachy eye look to go up today um, and I forgot and it's gone up and it's gone up with another video so that's why there's two videos on the channel today but I haven't filmed anything else with that peachy eye look so um, that's that's obviously gone up today and I'm not going to be filming the other peachy eye looks probably for a couple of weeks now I just wanted to let you know um, just because of the same problem you know I've got problems with my eyes not my eyes but my eyelids um, and I don't want to make them worse um, so guys I highly recommend this I know it's sold out at the minute but they are doing a restock and I just think the eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful um, I'm obviously gonna know more when I get them on the eyelids but I have seen other people's videos and they've created some amazing eye looks um, so yeah um, really really like it and I'm glad that I managed to get hold of one I feel really really blessed that I have my yeah, so I'm really, really thankful that I did manage to get hold of the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette the first time around. I really didn't think I would get hold of it. I thought, um, obviously it went on pre-sale and I signed up for that. Um, and I did get the email, but I forgot about the fact that I'd signed up for it. Um, so I didn't go down that route. Um, and I just, at six o'clock when um, it went live, um, I just tried getting it and it's, it, it said come back at six o'clock BST time and I'm thinking it's five past six um, surely it should be on sale by now um, so I just kept checking back and then I saw someone on Twitter saying that she'd got hers so I'm like well it must be on sale um, so I went back and managed to get one straight away um, the thing that I liked about Beauty Bay this time around is that they only limited one per customer now this eyeshadow palette is supposed to be limited edition but they are going to be doing a restock I don't know how many times they'll do that Nikki said that um, it is limited edition and they wouldn't be getting any more in but obviously they've changed their minds and they're going to be doing another um, restock maybe that's going to be the last restock I don't know um, but that will be happening I don't know when it's happening I've signed up um, to be notified just so I can let you guys know as well if you want it um, but yeah guys I am so over the moon to have it in my collection and I will be playing with this really really soon on the channel if you've not already subscribed I would love to have you as part of my little fam over here I do videos pretty much every day um, especially when I'm doing five days five looks um, but mainly it's Monday Wednesday Thursday and Saturday um, please like share and comment and i will see you in the next one bye guys